You got your first harp! Yay! Here are three things you need to do when getting started. The third one I'm pretty sure you haven't thought about. The first very important thing you need to do is have fun with your harp. Give yourself a little bit of time where there's no pressure to play with good technique. You're just gonna make friends with your harp. Maybe give your harp a name. My harp's name is Petunia. No, actually it isn't. I don't have a name for my harp. <laughs> but it's fun if you want to give your harp a name. <laughs> and then why not play some cla casual glissandos, pick out some random notes. You could even try picking out a tune. Just get to know your harp. I will say though, you mustn't spend too much time just randomly picking out tunes without any technique because you could start to build some bad habits. So have fun, but also move on to step number two. Next, you need to decide a strategy for learning solid harp technique. Harp is one of those instruments where in the beginning it just sounds lovely no matter what you do and you might not think about harp technique, but we really need to set up good habits from the beginning, otherwise you'll hinder your progress in the future and you could even end up injuring yourself. So there's a few things we need to decide here. The first is are you going to use a method book or video courses? Now I used to recommend method books all the time but I found that people really need demonstrations of what good harp technique looks like so that you can copy it and you also need guidance on what to practice and how to practice which is why video courses are so effective. And you might want to use a method book alongside video courses but usually if you're learning technique from video courses along the way most people don't feel the need for a method book. Next is, are you going to teach yourself or are you going to learn from one-to-one -one lessons with a harp teacher? Now, feedback from a harp teacher is really amazing and important for your harp learning, but it can be a bit expensive to have weekly lessons. So I've found it's really effective to do a combination of both, to learn from video courses during the week and then to have feedback from a harp teacher as often as you can afford, whether that's weekly, monthly or occasionally, it's really helpful to have feedback when you can. The next thing to decide is are you going to learn from songs or from exercises? Now, some people really love to do exercises for months and months and months and months, but I say that's a really good way to kill your love of harp. <laughs> so exercises are not an end in themselves, they are to equip you to play the song beautifully. So on our platform you can get a course to learn a song with some advice about technique and exercises within the course and then we also have a skills library where you can learn skills and also do exercises to improve your technique. The third thing you need to do when starting with the harp is connect with other people who are also learning to play the harp. Many of us are the only ones learning to play the harp in our physical location and it can get a bit lonely when you have struggles with your harp playing and you have no one to talk to about it. We have monthly Zoom meetups, workshops, practice pods and an active community kind of like a harp Facebook where you can connect and make friends with other people who are also learning to play harp as an adult and you can share your challenges ask all your questions and keep each other motivated. This is actually something you can try out for yourself with a free trial of our membership at learningtheharp.com. You'll get a free video course to learn any song of your choice and it's yours to keep or you can choose any workshop. You'll also get one month's access to our skills library and you can attend a Zoom meetup to connect with others who are learning to play the harp as adults. Now click here to get a free trial of our membership where you'll get everything you need to learn to play the harp. I'll see you there.